All right, so this is going to be a quick video showing how to replace the battery on this 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is a mid 2010 model A1286. All right, so we're gonna be using a PH0 or JS0 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. All right, you wanna keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them flat side down on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So just like this in this rectangular pattern. All right, so let's go ahead and remove all these screws. If this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you're wondering, these three back here on this side are longer than all the rest. So if you do happen to mix them up, um, hopefully that will help, okay? Anyways, let's get the rest of these screws out. Okay. All right, I think we're also going to need a tri-wing screwdriver for this. Um, it's good to actually buy um, like an entire set of screwdrivers, but um, if you buy a battery, sometimes it will come with those, okay? All right, there we go. Now we're going to go back here and just pull this cover off and it comes out really easily. All right, looks like someone already opened this and like wiped the inside. It's kind of, look, has some streaks in it like it was wiped down. And it looks like the battery was also replaced already before at one point. So this is an aftermarket battery here. Okay, um, it looks like we're gonna remove the two screws over here. Do we need to remove that? And actually, we don't need to remove this. So the battery connectors here. Okay, sorry about that. We didn't need to remove this metal plate at all. Um, underneath the metal plate is actually the trackpad and the keyboard connector. Um, but we're gonna leave that in place. All right. So I don't know why, um, if the customer replaced the battery on their own, uh, why they asked me to do it, but. Um, they did, so that's what we're going to be doing. All right. Um, anyways, let's find the appropriate uh, tri-wing screwdriver for this. I'm not sure what size it will need. I think it's going to use a Y1. All right, yep. Okay, so I got that screw out, and then we've got another one over here. All right, are they hiding another one? Yep, so there's three of these screws. Okay, this one can be a little bit tricky to replace the battery because the way they put the connector. So we're gonna lift the battery up like this, okay? And we actually have to also pull this connector out. So let me zoom in here and see if I can show you guys this better. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out a little bit first, just like that. Then we're gonna lift this. And then now that it's lifted enough, we can pull this out underneath the battery. Okay, and there we go, we can lift this battery out. Whoa, what happened here? This battery, oh, that's just like the plastic, but it's like torn there. Okay, anyways, that's kind of weird. We'll, we'll set that aside. Let's go ahead and open the replacement battery. Okay, the replacement battery actually came with some screwdrivers, so if you ordered one, um, yeah, you should have those. Okay, this model's pretty old, so hopefully this batteries, these batteries are still okay. So this one actually looks a lot more like how the original should look. So it looks like this, it has this little sticker on the side. Let's peel this clear thing off. Okay. But yeah, this looks more like how an original Apple battery would look for this model. Okay, now the somewhat tricky part, you gotta kind of get this lined up. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do it by plugging this first, we might have to actually get this in first okay so oops okay so we're gonna get the bottom in first just like that just slide that in okay and then the tricky part I can't really see from this angle so I might have to move it yeah that's gonna be difficult for me um, all right let's get this cable in here so to make this easier what we're gonna do we're gonna peel this up slightly Okay, 
just like that. Okay, and I think we can actually do it by plugging this in while it's up like really high now. Okay. Lower that and then pinch that into place. Good. Okay, looks good. Then we just lower the battery down. Okay. There's a lot of slack, so it's kind of a little bit difficult to push down, but there we go. And then we just get these three screws back in. Very nice and simple. Okay. Hold that plastic out of the way. Why is it not lining up right? Okay, this isn't lined up right, so let me do the center and other screw first. It kind of, it would help if I can look at it in the proper position, but because I'm trying to show you guys, I have to kind of work at a weird angle. Okay, and get this screw in. Okay, I think we have to kind of pull the battery over slightly a little bit because it's not aligned right. There we go. And then we'll get this screw in. Okay, the customer just said the battery is not really holding much charge, so this should solve the problem. Okay, this side is being a little pain. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, and if you're wondering, the hard drive is just like the other models I've worked on in the past. There's two screws here. You can pull this plate off. Then you use, uh, you tilt it up slightly at an angle like the battery. You can pull it out. Um, and then you have to make sure to disconnect this. Be careful because it's like uh, the cables underneath. And if you just yank it out, you can tear that. Um, and then there's T6 or Torx 6 screws on the sides uh, holding the hard drive in place. They're just like little pegs. Um, you can watch my other MacBook uh, 20, I think all the models before 2011, 2011 and before will use this type of setup. Every All the ones with the CD optical drive slot like this. Um, but if you need help finding a video, let me know. This is the hard drive connector. There's a speaker connector, optical disk drive, all right, uh, eyesight or webcam cable. Uh, there's the wireless card connector there. You got the keyboard backlight connector there. Um, fan with the fan connector, another fan, fan connector, LCD, LVDS connector. If you're going to mess with this connector, make sure you disconnect the battery, open the MacBook, and then press and hold the power button for 15 seconds before doing that. Um, I don't remember what this little connector is for, but um, yeah. Then we also got the RAM here. You just pull those tabs to the side, and this is PC38500S. So you should be able to use any PC38500S. I think 8 gig sticks are the largest, unless you look for, you can probably find some 16 gig sticks, but they'll be crazy, crazy expensive. But anyways, that's pretty much all there is to it. Let's put the bottom cover back on and get the screws into place, and we should be good to go. All right, not much to it. Let's put this way. All right, and let's get all those screws back in. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stay as I put back the screws. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Let's go ahead and get all of these in. Alright, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Let's drop this. Bye.